Pisces. Wow, I think it's my favorite moment when I went go to Pisces. Pisces, this is a wonderful year. Don't think about the cruel in the first week. All right, but um, truth is going to be coming out. Truth is going to be coming out. Uh, well, disappointment, detachment, and wealth in the reverse, okay? Um, follow me to the other side, but at the end of the month, you're coming out with pleasure, and that is the number six. So you're dealing with, um, 12, 3, uh, 9, 8, 9, 9, and 6. All right, so I see the disappointment is in reverse, so that is good in your cross. Then I see, um, detachment that is uh, um the seven of uh, cups so i see that is in the reverse so you are not dreaming anymore you're aware and i see a whole lot of money could the money be coming back or could you be have to be repaying this money that is going to be um that is definitely, definitely going to be a situation, okay? So I see the energy of the hangman and some of you are hanging in limbo. I see a whole lot of sadness in the first week. Whatever is happening and transpiring, you are coming in the month of January is being in limbo for you guys. Whatever this limbotic situation, trials, um, some of you, some sort of trials and temptation with your business, with your work, uh, um, whatever is happening and transpiring a whole lot of trials and temptation. Okay. So I see that is coming in. Then I see cruelty, whatever it is happening and transpiring a whole lot of cruelty. Um, the nine of swords. I see people stabbing you in your back. I see people speaking bad about you. I see a lot of hate that is coming to you. A whole lot of hate. So be aware of this, what is transpiring, especially in the first week. A whole lot of you are speaking, people are speaking bad about you and a whole lot of stabbing in the back about you. And I see, um, some horrible, horrible things that has been transpiring to you, Pisces, so be aware. In the cross, no more disappointment. You're detaching from um, some sort of a situation, detaching. Maybe it's a job that has paid good. You recognize that these people was not even nice in the beginning. You are okay. You're letting go. You're moving forward. You're going to be cool. And you recognize uh, that sometimes it is best uh, um, to... Just keep quiet, okay? Sometimes it's best not to say anything. Sometimes it's best to keep quiet, but I don't think so. Sometimes it is best to speak your truth because people need to know how far they can go with you. People need to understand that uh, you have, uh, um, you know, you 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 need to, um, to let people know. A lot of uh, sadness, a lot of... Uh, People are horrible, Pisces, but I see you're in a mood and you're recognizing, some of you recognize that people at your work really threw you under the bus and really stabbed you in your back. And I see the first week you're recognizing that you're, you're facing it and you're recognizing that these people have been false. And I see you're, you know, you're letting it go and you're realizing that this is just another experience. So, so in, um, um, in the cross, the disappointment, let it go. Um, some of you is uh, this month is your last month, let it go. Um, detach yourself from this hurt and pain because a lot of you are in hurt and pain in the in the first week of January. Going back to work, a lot of hurt and pain, and I think you feel that it was not honestly. You were not honestly um, treated honestly. And, and you know, your disappointment, but the disappointment is over. I see that as you get to the third week, you recognize you're focusing on other thing. As you leave the month of January, you are going to be feeling good again. Um, I see you're going to be connecting um, with people and doing what it is that you want to do. So 
this is really wonderful this is really um positive um people are now seeing that you were treated treated some of you were treated unfairly people are now recognizing the cruelty of other people and how other people have really treated you on cru um cruelly and you're going to be recognizing this i see whoever is going to be starting their own business in the second week going in the third week or um sometime in this month you're going to be very successful um money is going to be coming back to some of you um i see you you know you recognize that you know i was disappointed but it's okay i can detach myself from this because i wasn't even connected to this so it's good to have that sort of energy to say hey it's good all right um i understand i can detach myself from this and i feel okay doing this so a lot of you are going to be recognizing that in the second week and the second week is re really going to be one of these powerful week where you're going to be detaching yourself from people and situation even if you're at the workplace you're going to be just focusing and detaching yourself and recognize this is my work i do my work and i go home for the rest i do not want to be connected to people so like people who are just starting in the first week you're going to be realizing that People, you know, because you, you're new, how people treated you unkindly and some of you are going to be recognized. You know, it's good. Let me detach myself from that. I know my work. I don't need friends. And as you do this, like in the first week, second week, don't go looking for friends at your work. Sit, do your work. Show them what you can do. When you are, when you, you know, get in the swing of things. So you just do your work and just go home. You're going to see how people are going to be um, attractive, generated to you, and you're just going to be holding it um, personally and just, uh, um, you know, releasing, releasing, holding it personally and releasing um, situation and things from you, and you're going to be okay. Then we see in the third week, no communication. You're just taking it easy. Um, I think that that is, is good. That is when I was saying sometimes it's better not to talk. I see a whole lot of you are just focusing on your work. You're not really communicating, just fully focusing on your work and understanding, um, what is happening and what is transpiring and resolving a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of situation and is recognizing where you are at this point. So this is going to be good because you're going to be really access, uh, accessing a situation and understanding what is going on for you with a situation and how you're going to be recognizing and making a transition in your world by understanding what is happening, the transition that is happening, refocusing yourself and being very smart about doing this. And this is going to be good. You're ending the month of January feeling very happy. Some of you are like, Jesus, I am so glad I got rid of uh, that sort of energy, that sort of a, um, people network and that sort of a thing. A whole lot of you are going to be reboosting yourself at the end of January in the last week. You're going to be taking back yourself, reboosting yourself, understanding, hey, um, one door is closed, another one is open, or I'm going to be opening up my own business. I'm going to be opening up my own doors. And I see that you're going to be recognizing this and you're going to be alerting and be aware of what is happening and what is transpiring. And this is going to be good because you stood up against some sort of an unfair game that was playing and you recognize that, hey, I don't have to be, um, you know, walking over and letting people are walking over me and dealing with these unfair games because I'm now recognizing um, that these unfair games that people have been playing, I don't have to play those games and, and yet still I can come out on top. So this is going to be good. This is going to be really, really positive because what is going to be ha happening and understanding is that you're going to be recognizing your full power. You're going to be leaving this month receiving a whole lot of money so whatever that was happening and transpiring, um, I see that in the future or um, in the past, you should have uh, received a whole lot of money, which you did not receive. And it was um, cruel what and what has transpired. For some of you businessmen, you have took money on the false uh, 
pretend on the someone name um saying that this person asked you to take money it wasn't true i see that they recognize that you have lied and cheated out someone out of a whole lot of money and um, some of you it could have been that you access someone else's tax information and have got money on the false pretend saying that they were the one who asked you to call i see that they recognize that you are being very honest and you was honest no one asks you to do their taxes and they're going to be recognizing you and i see that they're going to be understanding that you have created a whole lot of issues for other people and you have gone too far with a situation so whatever that was happening and transpiring um they're going to be recognizing that some of you pisces had gone too far by using someone else's tax information to acquire um money and uh, um, knowing that the person was not in the country and have used their information to acquire money and i see that they are going to be really coming down on you pisces uh, for what you have done so i don't know if it's your company you did it via your company or whatever is transpiring i see that the tax company is going to be coming down on you businessmen for taking money on the false pretend i see you regret it but regretting it has brought you in a whole lot of problems um you should have thought about uh, what you were doing before you did it because it is now affecting you guys and you're recognizing that you have crossed a border that you should not have crossed. And I see that it is going to be affecting a whole lot of you in the future. So, wow. So Pisces businessmen, you're going to be having to deal with some sort of an issue. I see a whole lot of you Pisces businessmen and a whole lot of you um, Pisces that is going out looking for work and having a fair on the work floor. It's all going to be coming out. People are going to be realizing that you had an affair on the work floor or you flirted with someone or have some sort of affair on the work floor and it is going to be coming out and people are going to be knowing what you have done, um, why a position, you didn't get a position or you were asked to leave a, a company is because of some sort of uh, flirting or some sort of... Uh, um, office romance that you were involved with. I gotta go. Namaste.